Hey everybody, it's Andrew Martin coming to you with another video. Let me just adjust my screen here. There, that's better. I hope that wherever you are that you're happy, that you're healthy, and that life is treating you well. It is a beautiful summer morning here in Seattle. It's actually, to be honest, it's a little hot <laughs> for my taste. I'm kind of sweaty. <laughs> and I really, you know, I love the sun. I love summer, but I really am kind of ready for fall at this point. Um, if you've heard me, you know, speak in some of my other videos, you know, I don't really like the heat, but I digress. That's that's not the reason that I'm recording this video. Um, what I do want to talk about today, though, is um, this idea of embracing our shadow self. You know, it's what I've been calling recently is putting the dragon in our pocket. Um, you know, I think that there is... <clears throat> this false concept out there and this erroneous belief that somehow if we are spiritual beings or that if we are enlightened or that if we are awake that somehow we will never have a negative feeling that somehow you know if we're feeling angry or if we're feeling frustrated or if we're feeling jealous or envious or or scared or disillusioned or whatever negative aspect you want to you know, you want to say somehow if we're feeling those things that we're out of alignment you know, alignment is another word that we love to talk, you know, we love to throw around. Are you in alignment? I'm out of alignment. I'm not in alignment. Get in alignment. Are you, you know, having a moment of alignment? Are you out of alignment? Disalignment? Okay, alignment to me equals truth. So to me, alignment means being honest with whatever it is that shows up. And I don't think that it is honest to say that I'm never going to have or that you are never going to have or that we are never going to have a moment of fear or anger or frustration or jealousy or whatever it is that we you know, may not want to feel. I think that we cannot deny those lower aspects of who we are. We cannot deny the shadow self and be a fully integrated human being and a fully integrated spiritual energetic being. You know, to me, Integrity and is integration. Integration means we take all of the aspects of who we are and we embrace it and we bring it back to one. You know, this whole idea of unity consciousness and this whole idea that we are all connected, I think is real. And this idea that we all come from one source and there is a beginning of every, you know, the Big Bang, the Creator, whatever it is that you want to call it, there's a beginning for everything. If we do believe that and if we do support that concept that everything comes from one and that all is connected, then everything is an aspect of the divine. The good, the bad, the ugly, the pretty, the dark, the light is all an aspect of the divine. And so when we and if we begin to live our lives from this idea and this concept that everything is an aspect of the divine, then we must acknowledge that even these lower vibrational aspects, these shadow aspects of who we are, do deserve the same love and compassion and acknowledgement as all the other aspects that we have. And I get it. You know, it's easy when, you know, the bluebird's on your shoulder and the sun is shining and the air smells sweet and the birds are singing and the water sparkling. It's very easy to be in love and to, sh you know, enjoy and appreciate all of that. And when we have those moments of anger or frustration or the lower vibrational feelings, sometimes it can be very uncomfortable and we may have a tendency to push it aside, to not want to deal with it, to say, no, just feel good, just feel happy, just get in alignment. Sometimes being in alignment means acknowledging that you're angry. Sometimes being in alignment means acknowledging that you're frustrated. You know, I'll use an example of, you know, the animal kingdom. Animals are always in alignment. Animals can never not be in alignment. You know, a lion on the plains of Africa, if someone is trying to attack him in the pride or steal his food or attack one of his cubs, he's going to fight back. He is going to defend himself. That is, and animals are always in alignment. He's never going to say, oh, I'm a bad lion because I, I had a moment of, you know, I, I, I fought back or I defended myself. I'm a terrible lion. I'm a failure as a lion. The lion and animals always only know alignment. That's where they live and that's where they exist. Now, I'm not saying that we need to go out and attack people. But what I am saying is that if we are not being honest about where we are in each and every moment, we are not in alignment. You know, what we resist persists. That's an old uh, spiritual idea and an old saying, and it is very, very true. When we are saying, you know, I don't want to feel this anger and I don't want to feel this frustration and I don't want to feel this lower vibration, we give it more power. The more we fight against it and the more we try to push it away, the bigger it becomes. But the minute that we flip the script and do a 180 and turn and face it and say, you know what? No, I'm an infinite eternal being. I am powerful beyond belief. I am connected to the same stream of, air, of abundance and love and joy and all of that stuff that we are all connected to. So I am not going to let this moment of anger or frustration or jealousy be the reason that I stop, be the reason that I don't move forward. You know, courage is not the absence of fear. 
courage is feeling the fear and doing it anyway. So when we can turn and face those shadow aspects of who we are and show it love and compassion, just like we show love and compassion to the other aspects of who we are, suddenly we take its power away. When we say that, you know what, <clears throat> I'm going to turn and face my shadow, and I'm going to acknowledge it, and I'm going to experience it. Immediately we take its power away, and we immediately begin to transform it. And we will always find that on the other side of that lower vibrational feeling and that lower vibrational aspect of ourselves is something beautiful and something wonderful and something that we were searching for and a piece of us that we really needed to integrate so that we could be in spiritual integrity. The minute that we face it and acknowledge it, the minute that we bring it back and the minute that it is transformed and the more powerful we become because by acknowledging it and feeling it, we're taking responsibility for it. And that to me is what unity consciousness, that to me is what being connected is all about, is understanding that I have to take responsibility for my own stuff. Now, of course, if I'm feeling anger or if I'm feeling frustration, I'm not going to necessarily act from that place. Taking responsibility for it means that I say, you know what? I'm feeling really frustrated right now, so I'm not going to write that email. I'm feeling really angry right now, so I'm not going to have this conversation with you. I'm going to do my part and do my diligence to feel this and acknowledge it, and then I can come back to a place of love and compassion for it, and then I can act. You know, perfect examples this morning. I've been trying to record this video all morning. I'm going to be totally honest with you. I'm looking down at my dashboard here for my video editor, and this is my ninth or tenth attempt at recording this video. You know, the little dragon that I've, you know, the dragon, this we talked about earlier, putting the dragon in your pocket, the dragon is telling me, the voice is telling me, you don't know what you're talking about, Andrew, you're full of shit, no one cares, no one's listening, no one's paying attention, you're never going to get this video done, you might as well just turn off the computer and go outside and just call it a day. It'd be very easy for me to believe that that voice and that doubt is more powerful than I am. But you know what? Bullshit. I know that this message is important. I know that there are people that will benefit from hearing this and understanding this concept. I know that I want to do this video because I am compelled and inspired to do this video. So I'm going to do this video and I'm going to take that dragon and I'm going to put it in my pocket and I'm going to say, you know what, you're going to stay right here because I am more powerful than the doubt. I am more powerful than the negativity. I am more powerful than the fear and the anger and the jealousy or whatever it is. I'm going to feel the doubt and I'm going to record this video anyway. Come hell or high water, if I'm still sitting here at 5 p.m., I'm going to record this damn video. And when we can do that for ourselves, <clears throat> when we can begin to integrate all of those aspects of ourselves and embrace all of those parts of ourselves and show those darker aspects of ourselves that we're not afraid, then we can begin to do that for others. You know, a lot of times <clears throat> I will get people making comments on my, my YouTube videos or my, my website or, or my Facebook page. You know, I've been called a fake, I've been called a fraud, I've been called a liar, I've been called, you know, you're living up in airy fairy fantasy land and you're a charlatan. The other day someone called me a charlatan and I thought, you know what, I have an opportunity here. I can believe that they're right or I can say, you know what, I've never been called a charlatan before. That is really cool. In my 42, almost 43 years, I've been called a lot of things, but I've never been called a charlatan. So there's a new experience. Thank you for calling me a charlatan. You can call me a charlatan if you like. I still love you. I still show compassion for you. And I'm still going to do what I need to do. Now, that is not to say that if someone is calling me names or if someone is attacking me or if someone is negative or bringing me down means that I have to hang out with them. I can call you on your shit and I can move on. I can practice love and compassion for you and I can move on. I can acknowledge that you are expressing yourself in the way that feels most honest and true for you in the moment and I can move on. It doesn't mean I have to stick around for it. What it does mean is I am not going to let you be the reason that I stop doing what I know is important work for me to do. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you a little story because you know I love stories. Um, you know there's been a lot of construction going on around my apartment um, across the street, they were building a new building, and then in the past couple of weeks, they've been working on a unit upstairs and across the way, and there's been a lot of noise, <clears throat> a lot of drilling, a lot of banging and hammering and sawing and yelling and all of that, and you know, granted, working from home, I have a front row seat to all of the construction noise, and it really had started to get a little bit old, and it started to kind of drive me crazy. Well, the other day, I thought it was finished, and I sat down to meditate, and I was getting ready to start my meditation before I went on about my day, and the minute I sat down, don't you know what, I heard the hammering and the drilling start upstairs. And I thought my first instinct was, fuck, God, I'm so pissed. I hate this construction. I'm sick of this construction. Screw it. I'm just going to put on my clothes and I'm going to leave. And I thought, you know what? No, 
I know that my cons my construction, I know that my meditation is very good for me. My meditation is healthy and I love my meditative moments. So what I'm going to do is rather than let this external thing, this construction noise, be the reason that I don't do what I know is right and true and good for me, I'm going to use it as an opportunity to deepen my meditative focus, to deepen my concentration, and I'm going to show myself and that voice that's saying, screw it, just forget it, don't meditate today, I'm going to put that dragon in my pocket and I'm going to say, nope, we're going to do it anyway. So I sat down on the sofa, I breathed, I found my place, I centered and I grounded, and you know what? I found a couple of minutes into the meditation, the construction noise didn't even bother me, and I had such a deep blissful, powerful, wonderful meditation that day. It was one of those moments that I came out of meditation. I was like, wow, that was such a good one. My point is, is that when we can begin to nurture our own relationship with our shadow self and embrace it and say, you know what, baby, come along for the ride. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of a little jealousy. I'm not afraid of a little anger. I'm not afraid of a little fear. I'm not afraid of a little rest frustration or rage or whatever, I'm going to continue to do what I know is right for me and I'm going to continue to move forward on my path doing what I love to do out of a place of joy and out of a place of compassion and I'm going to feel that rage and <laughs> frustration at the construction noise and I'm going to meditate anyway. So that's my point is, you know, when we begin to face these fears, when we begin to face these aspects of ourselves, when we begin to integrate all that we are and carry our shadow with us, carry the pain with us, carry all of those lower vibrational aspects with us and acknowledge them and feel them and show them love and compassion regardless of what they are telling us we can't do or what we should do and we still find a place of centeredness and we still find a place of alignment within that frustration and that fear. When we begin to acknowledge those things, it immediately takes their power away and it begins to expand us as a whole being. It begins to expand us in our spiritual integrity and our energetic integrity and it shows us that we can really handle anything and that we are so powerful, especially in these times when the world seems so unpredictable. And there are so many people who don't know what's going on and there's so much craziness happening around happening around us. It gives us an opportunity to an opportunity to deepen our integrity spiritually, to deepen our focus spiritually, to deepen our sense of love and compassion and acceptance of all that is going around us as another aspect of the divine that just needs love and compassion. So that's my message for today. I'm hoping that 10th time is a charm <laughs> with this video so that I can show that little voice that told me that I didn't know what I was doing and that I couldn't do it, that I do know what I'm doing and I could do it and that this message is important and I hope that you feel the same. So thank you as always for watching. Please go to my new website if you haven't checked it out. I'm loving the new website. It's been so exciting and so wonderful to hear the positive feedback and responses. And even those of you who call me a charlatan and who say that I'm going to hell and who say that I don't know what I'm talking about and I'm a fraud, I'm a fake, I thank you for your feedback. I thank you for your input. And I show you love and compassion. And lovingly and compassionately, you're full of shit. I do know what I'm talking about and I do know what I'm doing and I'm going to continue to do it because I love to do it. So that's it. I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.